Hello, this is Dan Lemke with the Vision Group. Today is the first in a series of narrated articles that we'll be producing on a monthly basis. Today's article is on how individual buyers meet their needs. We'll take a consultative view of that process. Individual buyers will have needs, either a positive need such as a goal or a negative need such as a problem or a pain. We found in our work that before buyers take much action on changing the things they do, they do get some feeling for how large the need is. For this article, let's talk about that in terms of dollars and cents. Once an individual buyer decides the need they've got is large enough to do something about, they begin to look for a solution. Many organizations sell products such as auditing, expense management, software to help you prepare 1099s or 1040s. However, those are products only. Only the buyer can declare a need solved. So let's talk about what that means and how that actually happens. As you can see from this slide, there may be causes or reasons why an individual buyer cannot meet their needs. If you think about it, let's say you're a quality control manager and you've got a quality problem. It's costing your organization a million dollars a year due to these quality problems. So what can cause or what are the reasons why that person may be experiencing a quality problem? So let's examine what the causes or reasons could be for a quality control problem. The first one could be the raw materials are faulty. The second reason could be that the employees are not trained properly. The third reason could be because the equipment is out of tolerance. Multiple reasons can exist then for why a buyer cannot reach a need. If we think about it, the reasons that they're experiencing difficulties or they're not able to exceed their goals represents the cost they're facing today. Once the buyer understands what the reasons or causes that are keeping them from reaching their goal or solving their problems are, they may begin to look internally within their organization or externally with vendors to find features they can use to take care of the reasons why they're facing a problem. We find many salespeople want to tell the buyers all about the features of their product or service. However, in reality, it isn't the feature the buyer needs. It's how they use the feature that's needed. So we call those capabilities. The capabilities then are the verbs or the way in which you use features to deal with reasons or issues or causes of problems or not being able to reach a goal. As you notice from this slide then, there may be multiple capabilities needed to overcome the reasons why a buyer can't reach the goal or solve the problem. Also, if you notice, if you do use, as a buyer, new capabilities, the cost tomorrow may change. And if the cost tomorrow is less than the cost today, that results in a positive value. At this point, a buyer may have found some capabilities internally, or they may have found capabilities from an external vendor, such as us. The idea, though, is that if they want to change the way they do business today, to hopefully improve their operations, they still have to pay for those capabilities. So if you notice in this equation, we take the cost of the capabilities away from the value and that gives the buyer a net benefit. If the net benefit is large enough for a buyer, they will take action and they may want to acquire or use the capabilities they determine are needed in order to overcome the reasons they're experiencing a problem or the causes that keep them from overachieving their goals. So once the buyer becomes actualized and wants to take care of the reasons they're experiencing a problem or the causes that keep them from achieving their goals, they may want to think about who else in the company is impacted by that. If there's a quality problem, this could cause problems with profitability of the company, it could cause sales problems because buyers of their product or service are returning the product. They could lose additional revenues because customers become unhappy. 
The reason that they may want other people involved and to understand how it affects others is they may not be able to get the kind of money that is needed in order to get the capabilities they're going to want to put in place to change their business operations. Therefore, buyers are very motivated to find other people within their company that want to help them resolve the needs that they may have. In the final analysis, this buyer has determined they have a quality control problem. They've determined what the reasons are that they're experiencing the quality control problem. They have found capabilities that allow them to address the reasons why they're experiencing a problem. And they've also examined and gotten other people involved within the company that feel that it's important enough that they support this person in acquiring the capabilities they need so that the company as a whole can experience a net benefit. I call this process the buyer arriving at a vision with value. If that happens, this buyer is more likely to take action to resolve what's going on in their business operations. I'd appreciate some feedback from you on this article. We'll continue to do more of these, but we do need feedback from you to help us in the right direction. Again, thank you very much for listening to this consultative approach on how individual buyers try to meet their needs.